And welcome back to the third part of our second Fallout 2D20 story. Uh, when we last left our Wastelanders, they had just defeated an onslaught of mole rats that had uh, attacked the Gate Ridge um, marketplace. And had discovered that somebody had planted some sort of strange device inside the old still, which, which uh, brought the mole rats... Uh, uh, and frenzied them into an attack. Um, so, uh, like any good game of Fallout, uh, there is a, a, a loot element to it. Um, and the... Um, because the players killed six mole rats, um, each one of those, if you eat a chunk of mole rat meat, you gain five hit points back. Nice. Mm. However, you also must roll... Uh, a uh, a combat die, and if you roll an effect, you take one point of radiation damage. Oh. Except for me, because I'm me. immune to radiation. Yeah. I shouldn't risk that. I will do it. I'm only two away from my max, so it's almost not worth it if I get Questions. rad damage. So, so one 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 point of rad dash, damage just basically brings you down one point. It'll bring your max. Up, your, ma down your max is one. down permanently until you until get you get rid fixed. of the radiation damage. Except. It doesn't affect you for some reason. Oh. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> so if I eat mole rat and it brings me up five points, does that also stop my leaking? <laughs> oh, uh, injuries are going to um, uh, either require one of you to make a um, uh, a injury a uh, a. Uh, 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 a medical role, or in Ethan's case, a repair role, mm -hmm. or um, you're going to have to uh, spend some uh, caps to... Ba so here, here's what I'm thinking. You basically have six chunks of meat. You can either spend those meat, spend those meats to regain hit points, or you can you can give them out to the people uh, in Gate Ridge, and that will give you, like, services. Um, so, like, if you want somebody to fix your, your leak, that would require you to spend another point of meat to have somebody in Debra's Corners patch you up. Okay. I'll do that. Um, okay, well, I need to give some meat to, to Steely, because he'll give me the gun and the ammo, he said, if I give him mole rat meat. Mm-hmm. So I'll do that. And is that all the meat that I currently have? We have six. So cool. everybody has one, in theory, and then there's okay. an extra. So I'll, I'll do that, and then if I need to spend caps to heal, I'll do that. Okay. I would like to repair my buzzsaw. Repair yourself? Yes. So go ahead and make a repair roll, uh, and the difficulty is two, because it's the amount of injuries that you currently have, plus... One, because you're doing it on yourself. I'm using a point of luck to Fonzie it instead of using intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang! You don't want hey! peanuts to help. <laughs> That's what I was peanuts would over Fonzie it. And I got one success, so okay. I'm going to use a point of luck to re-roll, because I needed two. Peanuts mm -hmm. only knows percussive maintenance <laughs> so. and there's another one hey. Go ahead. so yeah you bang it against the wall <laughs> the the uh the mute fruit seed dislodges and <laughs> <laughs> noise that's, so that's why you put all your points in luck <laughs> yeah that was good i would like to use mine to de-rad myself because i took rad damage last time oh okay so you're gonna trade yours for some rad away um what I might also suggest, uh, Ogi, with a with an impressive barter skill, is for perhaps going to go talk to uh, Bango. And get a couple of Radaways instead. Well, go go ahead and, and make your barter skill roll and tell me what you get. Get it. Get Basically, it, get every it. success that you get on this roll, you're going to get another a roll on the loot table. Ooh. So, did you want to spend any AP for extra dice here? Wow, that's a really good one. Um, you also have one more luck point left. No. no okay. How many successes do I need? Just 
uh, as whatever successes you get, that's how many extra bit, how many uh, how many extra bits you get from Bango. So she uh, goes around and is like, okay, she hits up all the people who are like, yo, these guys helped us out. No, they just saved our asses. Yeah, I'm gonna use a luck point to re-roll that one. Okay. I think so. No, I will not use a feat, but I will re-roll this fucker. <laughs> yeah, I'll just re-roll one. Yay! Hey, nice. Um, so both of those are under my tag skill. Uh, which gives me four successes. So that yes. means that you generate you need four to yell yay at the dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can basically decide how many of these you want to spend on loot and how many you want to bank. Have Z. Okay. So what bit of... So you're getting a rat away? Mm-hmm. And then... I'll snag a rat, a rat away for her, too. So two rat away, if we could. Then you can bend your meat wherever you need to. Oh, it didn't work on you. Right. She, she doesn't know say that, that though. though. Right. I mean, you can still oh, get fuck. it and then she yeah, can just I hold mean, on to it. It's up to you. Like <laughs> or or you needed healing. Mm -hmm. So a rat away on a whatever just get first aid kit or whatever. Like the only person Black at the seal. table who can get affected by mm -hmm. rat away should have additional rat away. Oh god, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take two right away. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just hold it, and you yeah. you probably think, oh, I can give you it to well, Lavender. Actually, well, well, I, I like I like actually playing this scene yeah. because this lets you know lets you uh, yeah. let's unfold your deep dark secret a little right. bit here. Okay, so, so I. I... Take one rat away myself, which puts me because Sarah you know, back never at, plays a normal. character with a deep dark secret. <laughs> yeah. like, just, uh, no. And I walk you give over. Me an I'm gonna do it. <laughs> And I, I hand it well. to Calamity, and I was like, "Looked like that uh, the mole rat messed you up pretty good." So oh, I grabbed oh. you an extra rat. Yeah, yeah. Away. Thank, thank you. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I need it now. But um, you, you okay, Charlie? Charlie, sure. are you okay? You good? Okay. I mean, I, if you want to hold on to it, uh, <coughs> how? What? What? It, 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 I, I feel fine. Are you sure you feel fine? Yeah. <laughs> Follow my finger. Okay, then. Uh, I guess I'll hold on to it, then. Yeah, I mean, it never hurts to have a, have an extra, you know? Maybe I'm just not feeling it yet. You have to feel it later, I can be like, yo. But you got healed from eating, right? Yeah. Note to sell. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, put I, it in the bag. Is it, is it weird? No, it's fine. Did you take fine. your luck point back? Because the I did. Because never showed. And then I spent three more luck. <laughs> so thanks for that, Rob. <laughs> All right. Well, let me know. Yeah, if for sure. Slash when. Of course. Okay. So okay. you ate to heal. You ate to heal. I did not eat to heal. I'm gonna trade it for uh, getting my crushed hand. Like okay. That. I'm also giving mine to Steely so I can get the gun. Okay. So that's still two. You ate yours. You did or did not eat yours? I did not. Okay, and you did or did not eat your. I do not consume human food. Okay, so I'm just saying. So that means that there are three rolls on the the uh, the luck table. Then, yeah. Yeah. Um. Would on the loot table, I should say. Because I suppose I could eat one. I mean, I could. I'm eat at one six too. out of nine, but I just don't want to get ratted up again. Well, you could have ate it and then. And then well, right away. away. Well, okay. It, it all. It also all the well. First, okay, so you would eat it, we'd roll to see if you get ratted, and then you can send the rat away. Okay. Or you can risk it, hope that you don't get into a fight uh, before the end of the session, and be fine next time. I don't know if I trust you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to automatically put us into okay. combat unless we're All stupid right. about it. I'll chill. We uh... can sell it or whatever then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when, when was the last time you guys were stupid about a fight? Yeah. Do you guys... <laughs> Want me to eat in a, one of the one that we had additional to go up from seven to twelve? Right now you have three because you spent and then we three. Can use the last two for loot. Well, I I, could... I would say save one. I need to eat one. Okay, that's my vote. Because I need to give one to Steely for the gun, and then I could I could. That's eat already one. counted in, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I could eat one to get okay. back up to max. Then I will eat one and use one to get but... my hand taken care of. Then. I'd still need to visit, like, a doctor to stop the, the leakage. But 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. <laughs> plus no, two okay, plus one. there stop were right six. There. 
Sarah ate one. Jordan ate one. Tony ate one. Jordan put one in for medical. Tony put one in for medical. And then he gave one to Steely. One to Steely. So, if I gave one to stop my Tony, leaking, does that, did, that, did they also heal me, or was it just the leak? No, that would just be the leak. Okay, so how much did, will it cost to heal back up? <laughs> so so you cut to debtor's corners, which is where uh, all the ghouls live in uh, Game Oh, <laughs> debtor. Okay, sorry. Um, and uh, let's see. What's a good name for a for a for a ghoul doctor? Doctor Feelgood? Doctor Feelgool? Doctor Acula. <laughs> I mean that's pretty gosh darn funny. Yeah, it's Doctor Acula. <laughs> and uh he's and, and he's looking, he's like, Ooh, I'm gonna need the I'm gonna need the big tongs for that one. That guy's burrowed in there. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not actually quite sure if it's dead yet. Oh, gross. <laughs> well, I don't know what, uh, well, I don't know how we get, are you dead? Yeah. And you see, like, the little, like, oh, my God! <laughs> oh, Kyle, you're still alive! <laughs> I named it Kyle. Don't ever name these things because it makes it more difficult to extract them. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, thirty Don't caps, pass. and I and I think I can get that out of there. Oh, uh, can you go any lower? Do you want to barter him? I do. Okay, roll your barter. Would it help if I stand menacingly <laughs> behind? Yeah, so to go do ahead it. and roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll. So hold that thought. Okay. Roll uh, your what's that? Speech, strength plus speech. I think. <laughs> strength. Plus so there isn't an intimidate skill. Speech. Okay, that's a that's below ten. That's not bad. That's not bad. What? Roll one d ten. D twenty. Or one d twenty. Sorry. <laughs> See if it goes underneath. If it does. I'm going to use a luck point <clears throat> to re-roll this die. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Five. Okay. So. Five. You get an extra d twenty. Uh, an extra d twenty to roll. Yeah. Thanks. I patch Pita. you with the severed arm. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> So I got a nine, and that's it. Okay. No, a six, sorry, a six, and that's it. Okay. Are you going to spend any luck to re-roll any dice? Um, how much luck do I have? Will I have four? Four. Mm -hmm. Oh, four. It's, it's equal yeah. to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three, and I'll re-roll this one. Nope! Worse. You can spend another luck to re-roll the other one. Mm -hmm. I will do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like a slow negotiation Wee! with your dice. Oh, oh, he rolled a one. Nice. Okay, so, so that's, that's three. Three. <sighs> ghoul to ghoul. Helped with the mole rats. My yeah, big yeah, friend yeah, yeah. here. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> 20 caps. <laughs> okay. 20 caps. That's good. All right. Plus, I'll drop a name on my radio show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advertisement. You need uh, yeah. that? Uh, well, I am trying to get into dentistry. Is that is much call for that around here? Well, I'm the only dentist I know of. <laughs> cool. I mean, everybody's teeth around here looks like shit, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But I'm... they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> is the key. I'm going to need your meat curtain friend here to help. Whoa, meat curtain? Really? <laughs> Hold him tight. Don't let him go until I until I tell you to. Okay? Wait, is this is this mole rat or dentistry right now? Eh, little column A, little column B. Oh, oh god. Peanuts just wraps you with her long arms and squeezes you. No matter what he does, no matter <laughs> what, what he, he says, watch your face. Don't let him off the tree. <laughs> uh, so he gets. A corkscrew. Oh, oh. And okay, one, two, two. What? Chunk! <laughs> Scream! What the Scream! hell, Kyle? Scream! Kyle! <laughs> Are you okay, Kyle? 
and it makes the weirdest pop noise you have ever heard in your life. And uh. oh, whoa, 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 it's a mighty one. Okay, okay. <laughs> he throws it in a uh, like a uh, he throws it in like a like a paint or like a like a bucket, and then he flips the bucket up, up and sits on it. <laughs> and you can still hear like. All right, so hey, just between you and me, if you kill Kyle and you get rap meat, do I get some of my caps back? You never, you never heard of a tip? <laughs> Kyle's your tip? Ah, right, that's fine. I'm cool with it. <laughs> so we, 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 we cut to Bango. What's left of Bango's office? Like, a, like, a, like I imagine that it was kind of a, a like. Um, it was also in one of the other uh, luxury boxes, except it now is covered in mole rat excrement and like <laughs> <rat> <laughs> uh, stuff like they, they just ran wild in this thing and she's got the, like a, a a bandage on her neck and she's picking through the, the garbages as you arrive and uh she says oh, here we go and she under from under the wreckage she pulls out like an old cigar box and pulls out a cigar and 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 lights it uh and then says um I am getting too old for this shit. Yeah, kid. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, there was a movie where a guy said that famous line. Movie? Yeah, two cops, friends. Mm -hmm. One says he's too old for this shit. Never mind. <laughs> well, I for one, she uh, says uh, Bango, she starts poking on, uh, puffing on the, the cigar appreciate everything that you did to, to, to stop that, that mole rat attack. Um, I went around and, and, and got uh, uh, some uh, a bit of a collection from everybody. And uh, we pulled, I pulled together a couple of things. Most of it was in the form of, of pre-war cash. I hope you're okay. I hope you guys accept that, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, and she pulls out like a like a like a briefcase full of it, which is worth uh roughly like thirty nine caps. Should I just write down thirty nine caps yeah, and assume we have it? Um I mean I know it's a collector's market, but you mm -hmm. know that's that's what uh, that's what some people uh, deal with here. Um uh and then uh Steely from the Armored Zamboni uh, donated this lovely bit of sturdy raider armor. And we also have somebody gave me this, which is weird. And she she puts a a Nuka-Cola bottle. But it's different. Because, uh, Rainer, you know the value of these things. This one looks new. Like, Nuka Cola hasn't been made since before the last war. Y'all ever see a Nuka Cola what looked this clean? Uh, not for like hundreds of years. Not me. What? Is there like a manufacture date on it anywhere? Um. Expiration date, etc. Per FDA regulations. Pre Give me a perception plus oh, barter. Roll. Oh, barter, I got you. Well, because you're assessing value. Yeah. Here. So, nine. Take out your little yeah. monocle. That's a jeweler's. Son of a birch. Um, <laughs> how many? You, you're uh, so, have? one success will, will. I don't have any successes. Okay. So. Still got lots of them? No. I used the last of it. You could spend three. 
AP for two more dice, if you wish. Or one AP. I mean, this is we're coming up on the end, ain't we? Do it. So or one AP for it. one more die. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do all three. I'm sure none of us will need to roll. Oh my god, I failed both again. Son of a bitch. That happens. Okay. Yeah, you're, you were mystified by this. I'm sorry, I jinxed it. <laughs> Are you out of D20s? Mm -hmm. They're all in prison. Could any uh, uh, of us else take a shot at it? Um, I got nothing that could help with that. Can I, yeah, can we try? Like, what is it, a charisma and barter? So it's going to be a perception plus barter, but because you are not familiar with the market, your difficulty is going to be two. Oh, okay. I'll try. Ha! Ah, I got one! <laughs> that. Oh, you know what? And I'll take a luck to roll another, or again, or whatever. And I'll do another luck, right? Yeah, can I do nope, you can't. You're one, oh, you, you can spend it one, one per, die. per die. Dang. Okay. Well, I got um, one. I, I can try. <laughs> I'm, I'm It'd be hurt. really funny <laughs> if if Mongo right. figures out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me take a look at it. <laughs> Rolled two fifteen. <laughs> That's a success, right? Safe to say. <laughs> Nothing for me. I got nothing. Yeah. A after the expert whiffed 4d20, <laughs> I, it didn't seem like anything else was gonna gonna do it. So, the mystery remains. Great. Does it have trace of carnation on it? <laughs> was it a yellow carnation, by the way? It was red. Because yellow carnations means I hate you. <laughs> Basically. That's good to know. I yeah. think I might... <laughs> Never mind. I don't have plans. Hashtag flower language. <laughs> um, uh, right. Let's go with that. Yeah, it was actually a, a yellow carnation. Okay. Okay. Hashtag incorporate player contribution. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So he does hate us. <laughs> Shocking. Well. So, do you have any ideas on what you think happened? Got some ideas on who might have done it. You ever hear of a guy named Shotzi? Of course. Baron Shotzi? Mm-hmm. He, uh... Built himself, uh, uh, that, the, that cat, built himself that castle slash, um, uh, drink factory? Yeah, he, uh, he ain't my biggest fan. Wait. Drink factory. New looking Nuka Cola. It's a message. I mean, last I heard he was just doing beer. But uh and he's evil. He is. Maybe it was a barley guard. Might have could have been. So wait, why why doesn't he like you? Reasons? Okay. Monopoly. A board game won't sell his beer in my bar that's uh well he didn't definitely the only reason well i mean barney never used to uh, never used to sell his beer at the old still because he had a still yeah uh i don't know he took a great dislike uh or something i guess so you, do you think he did this to get you why wouldn't he just send a bunch of goons to blow up your bar? Eh, we got protection. Who's not? Just a big dumb grin <laughs> <laughs> on Peanut's face. Currently not guarding the bar, but, you know. <laughs> As Peanut's like, I gotta go. <laughs> I love my punch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, she's got, she's got all these weird Home Alone setups. <laughs> You Except they're what? all super fatal because they're, <laughs> they're calibrated for like mutant attacks and like regular the, normal humans. Are, the like... most dangerous is the free punch bowl that I leave outside <laughs> the front door when we're not there. <laughs> not not the cascading sledgehammer trap. Oh no, that's, that's second most dangerous. That's second most dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and that's only to the bathroom. Mm. Look. <laughs> 
Bango. I just, uh, you just might want to be careful with around him and his goons and his ways. Well, I'll be careful. He's not we... exactly what you call honorable, I suppose. I mean, he he hasn't come around here ever since the, uh, the ooze fighter set up shop. Hmm. So he doesn't like the ooze fighters. Not as far as I can tell. Well, I mean, those guys don't drink beer. They have you have you heard of the stuff that that they that they drink called um punch peanuts punch. Well, they they call it uh like battery juice, but it's made out of a bunch of different chemicals. It's it's, it's yeah. really weird. That's yeah, it's probably the same thing. Mm -hmm. Weak. <laughs> Lesser version. <laughs> Oh, you mean diet peanuts? <laughs> Is that the great we value aspartame. version? It's, a, it's DP. That's peanut, DPP. Peanut Dr. Thunder. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be careful, but I think but if, if Shotzi's out for you, you're the one who probably should be careful. I got it. It's fine though. I'm not worried. I'm not. I'm not worried. Okay, don't be worried. But I'd, I'd, if he wants to talk to you, you might want to talk to him back. I will take that under advisement, Bango. Mm -hmm. You and all of your years of wisdom. I'm hey, sure. Uh... Gate Rich has been in my family for generations, and. I know that sometimes you've got to you got to make deals with, with people who you don't particularly like. Speaking of deals, is there any way you could maybe um, help Ralph out and maybe you know work the market for fish down here and maybe help his lady come down and have room to do that? Fish could be pretty lucrative out here. At Gate Ridge. Well, you know, back in my day, they had fish fries every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking for a new tenant to fill up the old still, because Barney hasn't been around lately, so. Excellent. Where's Barney? I don't know. He just stopped showing up. Oh, man, do we need to find him? Who was Barney? He's the guy who okay, ran, ran the old still. still. Oh, that, I mean, but okay. That didn't right, 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 serve. Right, right, right. That didn't serve Shotzi's beer. Yeah. <gasps> great. Oh, great. It was also great, great. a purple dinosaur. When uh, yeah. when's the last time you saw Barney? Just for reference. Uh, Point of reference. A couple weeks ago, maybe. Yeah, he just. Uh, sure. I thought he was taking a vacation, and then he just stopped coming in. I'm. I mean, this stuff happens all the time in the wasteland. You know, maybe a rat scorpion got him, or maybe he. Decide to uh, head off to Ridgegate. I don't know, but if his spot is open, we can certainly uh, uh, set up a. Uh, what did you call it? A fry fish? Oh, uh, f f fish fry Friday. You could call it fish Friday if you want. Shorten That's it to bad. just two words, because you know, <laughs> idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you kind of veered into Christopher Walken and then, like, and then steered the car back on into the lane. Yeah, I'm struggling. That's okay. <laughs> Due to the I dialect have... life, man. Yeah. It's hard. I, have... <laughs> I haven't even gotten the tone of my character down today. Don't feel bad. Everybody, everybody, everybody thinks it's cool to do a, an accent. Then you have to keep doing that accent, and you're like, like at least, at least when I, when I decide, I could be like. And that character jumps off a cliff and dies, and I never have to do that <laughs> accent again. Whereas other people, <laughs> if you choose that as a player choice, mm -hmm. it's it's a choice. <laughs> yeah, I don't. He stopped showing up. You, I mean, if you want to talk, uh, you probably could talk to um, uh, Randy over at uh, Transdimensional Candy because they were neighbors. Maybe he knows what's going on. Sounds but good to me. I gotta get back. I gotta, I gotta get back to 
assessing the damage besides just what's here in my place because those rats chewed up a bunch of different they, they ate a bunch they, they were eating trophies can you believe that yeah well hey <sighs> good luck kid next time you're in town i got your first beer at the Volskis. <coughs> i will absolutely take you up on that Gotta get some beer there first, but... <laughs> That's why um, we're here. So, um... Uh, trans-dimensional candy is... Uh... It, imagine a, like... A head shop built out of the scenery from an old Frankenstein movie. Oh my god, I love it. So there's like so like there's a bunch of pillows everywhere, uh, on the floor, mm -hmm. on on the chairs, and then like along one wall there's there's a, a massive chemistry like set and like you know the the Jacob's ladder zapping and 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 things like that. Peanuts isn't transfixed <laughs> and goes and checks out the cool chemistry set. <laughs> um, greetings and salutations, all. Says Randy, who, uh, um, I don't think, so, he, so he has the, the gray hair bald with the ponytail. Mm. <laughs> um, Steve Martin at the beginning of, uh, Bowfinger. Yeah. Before he pulls the fake ponytail off. <laughs> well, except he's bald on top, so it's just like, it's like the Picard yeah. and then the back. Oh, uh, the um, ring. Yeah, the ring. <laughs> um... And he's got um uh like the like a like a like so he's got like a Nehru jacket. So except it's been patched with other jackets, so it's like the sleeve is like the amazing yellow, dream coat. <laughs> a little bit, kinda. <laughs> like like imagine a community theater production of that, mm -hmm. but uh heavily influenced by Yellow Submarine. Perfect. Um, he's got, uh, he's got, like, a bright green soul patch. Oh, good. <laughs> of course he does. Randy, the sun smiles on you this day. How may I enlighten you today, my companions? Mm. Well, we first are... of all, are you, have you told the top of your head that the back is hogging all the hair? <laughs> he's not with us. <laughs> oh, no, I know, I... I was watching all the 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 excitement <laughs> with the rats. It looks ridiculous. What? You see, physical appearance is not it is unimportant in the grander cosmic uh, scheme of things, my friend. You, as an immortal traveler through this bubble of time, should understand that most mm. of all out of everyone. He means your skin falls off. <laughs> no, yeah, I know that. Uh, I had a I had a mole rat in my would chest love earlier. To have a <laughs> That's amazing, man. I would love to have a, an aesthetic discussion with you at some point because you've seen so many things with your eyes and felt so many things with your fingers. Do you want to be on my radio show? <laughs> what what do you have any um do you have any mamas and the papas albums? I do. Wow, that's so cool. I should listen to your show. You should come on the show. We can talk about that. You, you can, can spread the good word. Preach um... your jabberwocky to the whole wasteland. <laughs> well, I'm not a preacher. You must come to seek enlightenment. Enlightenment does not come and seek you. We are, in fact, seeking some enlightenment, however, um, which is why we figured you would be the best what? avenue for us to travel upon. What color of enlightenment through. do you seek? Uh, what happened to your neighbor? Purple. Oh, Barney? Yeah. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> he, sold, uh, he sold the shop. To who? To whom? Whom to? To whom? Stisha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Give me a, a speech roll here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is why you should have left it to me. 
You can you, you can assist. I would love to assist, please. Oh please. Let oh, I have a charisma of five. Do you have any speech? Which dice deserve to get out of, of jail? Five. Uh wait. <laughs> amazing Sarah that was amazing you have a fascinating aura what color is it maybe we should change the subject <laughs> <laughs> thanks he you I'm sorry your question the <laughs> I was distracted by your your cosmic existence oh yeah that happens to a lot of people um <laughs> well you you Hers can... is the same as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have two successes. So ask two questions, and who do you sell it to? <sighs> Sadly, capitalism comes for us all. Oh no! It was a man in a pinstripe suit. Carnation. With a mustache and a and a carnation, uh, I think he I think he might have been connected to uh, that Baron Shotzi. Right. May I ask a question? Do you happen to know if Barney is still alive? I haven't seen him, and I haven't, and his spirit has not returned to the shop, so I assume that he is still alive. Okay. Do you like fish? I think he's talking about the food, not the band. <laughs> <laughs> you have actually yeah. you have their albums too? And on the, do you do you have a specific question? Yeah, I was just gonna do you mind if do you think the so the person that purchased that place hasn't been back, right? Yeah. No, I he I haven't seen him uh since he and the last time I saw him speaking with Barney. How, how do you feel about fish fries? Why would you fry an album, man? And that <laughs> is where we end our scene. Uh, please uh, check out our uh, follow-up where everybody gets to level up and uh, repair their characters. My dice are done. I'm so sorry. And, and Tawny uh, sets her entire dice collection on fire. <laughs> Maybe you should have given it to uh, uh, one guy. To <laughs> you should have blown my cleansing. dice. Do a cleansing. Uh, we'll be back uh, to level everyone up after this. And welcome back to our uh, post show. Um, we like to, to, to do this post show stuff because um, I think it's important to show the, the whole aspect of, of the games that we play. And um, this also kind of allows us to talk about what happened in the game. Um, because of, of the way that, that Fallout is structured, that's a little different um, because everybody's kind of face down in their in in their book looking for uh, their next advance. So when uh, when you gain a level in Fallout 2D20, uh, you gain one extra health point. You choose one skill to increase by one rank up to a maximum of six, uh, and you gain a single perk. Now we're doing we're advancing every um, session. For a couple of reasons. One, it's fun. Two, uh, we get to explore the depths of the system a little more quickly because we only have a certain amount of shows. Um, and three, I have become, in my old age, a big fan of Milestone XP. Um, no I've more math. Well, yeah, like <laughs> this crew already is maybe not the strongest in math. Um, but it also makes sense to me of just, you know what, fine. If you want to level up, just level up. Like, I'm not going to enforce specific rules of, well, you've only you've only killed five orcs, but you've killed seven orcs, therefore you get your candy first. Um, and that uh, actually is going to factor into something that's going to happen in our next session. Jordan uh, is not going to be available, uh, so um, 
Uh, don't worry, she's not off the show. She's just going to be with her family for that weekend uh, when we tape this. Um, and we talked about it, uh, about um, whether or not she gets the full level up next time. Now, this is something that happens a lot in role-playing games because people have real lives, allegedly, that uh, they <laughs> where they can't make every game. And in my games... <sighs> I don't want to penalize people for real life. So usually what I do is I talk with that particular player and I give them a couple of options. Um, sometimes the option is just tell me what your character was doing. And, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll say that that, you know, that happened to you off stage. You know, people can write some fanfic about it. It'll be fine. Sometimes it, uh, we get the opportunity to run plots that are ones that you see in, in, media all the time but are not necessarily fun to run in a game session like the classic oh uh my i've been kidnapped or i'm trapped inside a, a, a the nakatomi plaza building while all, everyone else is outside trying to get in and those can be very hard to pull off so uh, if a player is already not there uh that's a good time to run it and generally you want to run it with the idea that no, no permanent harm is going to come to that particular player um, because it's no, they don't want to come back and be like, what do you mean that you blew up Nakatomi Plaza and my character is dead? <laughs> um, so uh, in Jordan's case, what we, what we just, we, we talked about it. And um, as long as we uh, come up with some sort of story thing that can connect back to on camera action, I think we, I'm usually happy with that. Like as long as we're generating something that we can then resolve later, uh, in game cool like that's really all that i'm looking for when we play is what story elements can i carry forward um you know and that's why i did that's why we did things like i continuing the story of poor ralph and eugenia um mm -hmm. and you know making turning adler into a uh, a recurring villain type character those are elements that we want to continue mm -hmm. um so what do we decide jordan so Peanuts really wants that put her there patch that Limey refused to trade for his own arm. We, we are also officially changing his name to Limey because I like that better than Lemmy. So yes, I, I think it was Lemmy and George. George. <laughs> I was thinking of. Uh, I almost went with like a Lenny and Squiggy thing, and then I didn't. Yeah, I heard okay. Limey, so I wrote down Limey I love it. Arm. So Let's that's, keep it. I was like, that makes sense. He never said his name, so. Yeah. We'll... <laughs> um. So, there's gonna be a put her there regional championship. It's gonna be like the Karate Kid, but with more severed arms. Yes, which <laughs> I would say is more over the top. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. But with equal numbers. So, with, so yeah. yeah. So what you, if you want to see what uh, uh, what peanuts is up to next session, go stream over the top. Oh, that's. I would not wish that. On <laughs> Put I on, would. Tawny except would. Except for Tawny, Tawny would actually enjoy it. But uh, maybe it's a great fucking movie. And it Jordan is the K. best <laughs> arm wrestling movie starring Sylvester Stallone <laughs> ever made. Ever made. Just pick any random sports movie and assume that Peanut is don't in the even underdog. Don't start. Don't start. Don't start. Like don't Rocky. Start don't start. Like Rocky. Rocky. No. Man, movie. Tony was like, like, <laughs> yeah. 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 like, he like saw that up. setup coming. I like to line it up. So yeah, it was back down. beautiful. It's a choice. So she's going to have like a little training montage and then she's going to enter the regional championship and try to get that badge and i guess you're gonna see when she comes back for our final episode whether she succeeded or whether failed she succeeded or failed all right so i i think we've vamped <laughs> enough to allow yeah. everybody else to uh to choose their their character stuff so when you level up you gain a health point a, a skill rank and a single perk so uh, who wants to tell me what they've chosen i've chosen chosen concentrated fire when you make a ranged attack and spend ammunition to increase the damage, you may reroll up to three damage for damage ice for your damage roll. Wow, that that's interesting because that makes your character more versatile because normally you're like the one shot kill person, but but if you're like, nah, we need to really put some bullets in this thing. Daka 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 daka. Uh what skill did you end up raising? 
Uh, I raised my small gun. Again okay. Because I feel like that's... And okay. I also raised Charlie's body. Okay. And Charlie's eight P HP also jumped up to eight. Nice. Is that more than yours now? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm sorry, that was so mean. All right. Uh, so uh, who would like to go next? I will. Okay. So I upped my health. I brought up my small guns by one point. And I gave myself inspirational. Uh, because you lead by example, the maximum number of AP the group may save is increased by one. Oh. So oh, actually, yeah. we, so now we're at seven is the maximum that we can mm -hmm. post. Because that's different from the one that you took, right, Tony? No, that is the one I took. Oh, okay. So actually, we should have a max of eight then. I'm sorry. Oh, cool. I will, I will uh, compensate for that by we'll adding... We'll fix it in post. Well, no, I will compensate by adding some AP uh, to the start of next game. Two, specifically. That's what I thought. <laughs> uh, who's next? Uh, I can go next. Yes, please. I increased my energy weapons because I was shooting them lasers all over the place. I like that everyone is choosing, like, I chose this skill because I used it a lot and I wanted to succeed <laughs> more with it. And uh, my... Uh, Perk was better criticals. Mm. When I inflict damage, I can spend a luck point to cause it to be critical damage. Oh wow! <laughs> Damn, that's rude. That is really rude. Like I, I, <laughs> you I like that you're nine or more luck to do it. So, I Damn, feel like, that's rude. I feel like you have you, you're like I feel like as a robot you have some kind of like uh, slot machine thing going on in your back. Like like you were bored with the soul of a of a, of a <laughs> your video poker was a machine. Roulette table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Tony, you're up. Um, okay. We didn't use it, but I feel like it will come in handy. So I took healer. Um, <laughs> when you heal a patient's HP using the first aid action, increase the amount of HP healed by plus one per rank in this perk. Oh, nice. Each time you take the perk, the level of requirement increases right. by five. That's so you can't just go healer, healer, healer. Woo! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and question. When it says ranks three, that means I start with a rank of three in that? No. Uh, what that, the, the. Three ranks. That means that it, there are up to three ranks of it. Okay. So you can take up Got to three it. ranks. So I start at one. So right now it's at a plus one. Got it. But that, but, and what skill did you end up increasing? I haven't picked up, but I'm thinking medicine. Okay. <laughs> Just because I feel like that's going to come in handy. Do you want me to go through both of my on. level ups in this? No, we can, right. we can uh, okay, catch up that. with you at, at the. Uh, yeah, we'll wait. Uh, start the top of four. Of the, yeah, okay. start of four. Oh, I forgot about hit then point. my level up for this episode: uh, maximum HP up to fifteen. Uh, I ranked up my unarmed skill to four, which is the max that a super mutant can have for any of their skills. <laughs> so I maxed out my melee and my unarmed, and I took. Iron Fist for my perk, which at my rank one right now, my unarmed attacks inflict plus one damage die. So I add one more damage <laughs> die. On so you're my doing what, attack. like seven now? Uh, unarmed, I only get uh, two, two like base, and then two for my for, melee. For... So I'm just doing five. Oh, just the five. But you also just get, five. Yeah, you get that melee bonus, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's my. So I get up to five. Just the five. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'd like to thank you all for joining us for our second Fallout tale. We hope that you enjoyed it, and we hope that to see you back here for our third one next time. But until then, we'd like to remind everybody, Black Lives Matter. Get your vaccine. Wear your masks. Stop Asian hate. Love is love. And uh, from everybody uh, here at Theater of the Mind Players, we are... Use your turn signal. <laughs> uh, Ethan Ixon Anderson Tawny P. Thompson Sarah Babe Jordan Fishburne Tony Cheek And as always our Lord of the Board Brad Davies From all of us uh, to all of you Thanks for watching Just repeat to yourself it's only a game I should really just relax Congratulations fellow human You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players If you enjoyed our story please like the video if you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. 
If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You'll get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.